Hey guys, so yesterday, Saturn and Pluto made a forceful connection that basically forced us to cut out the fluff and focus on what really matters in our lives. This may have looked like a parent, teacher, boss, or other authority figure um, demanding that we turn off those video games and all the fun stuff and get busy now on what we really need to do. And God help us if we spoke back <laughs> because with Saturn and Pluto meeting up in this way, it's kind of like the rock in the hard place getting into a fist fight if you buck the, the, the trend, buck, buck the authority, right? Uh, so yeah, that was a tough energy. But the, early this morning then, the sun and Saturn um, kind of extend yesterday's energy, but in a kinder, gentler way. Um, definitely a little bit more collaborative. They seem to promise that if we set clear intentions around the things that we really um, want or need to accomplish, they'll give us the discipline that we need to prioritize the use of our resources so that we will eventually get what we most want. Um, we will have to work for it though, because Saturn only gives gifts when we are realistic about doing our part and when we make a concerted effort. So it doesn't come for free, but it'll help us to prioritize and to clarify and to set decisions, um, make decisions about what we want and to, to get the ball rolling in, in making those that happen, kind of giving us, focusing our mind, focusing our energy on that. Then tonight, we've got a very nice new moon in Taurus um, at 11.23 p.m. Eastern. This represents an opportunity for new beginnings associated with our values. Many of us have realized that the things that we used to really want um, are no longer all that enticing, all that attractive. And instead, new desires are stirring within. As we lead up to this new moon, today's a good day to start feeling into our current values and to set some new priorities about the things and people who really deserve your time, your attention, and your commitment. Um, you've got a little bit of time to do this. It's no, there's no rush because, like I said, it's not a new moon until 11.23 p.m. Eastern, um, and that will carry over for a couple of days. So, so you have until the, the, you can see that little crescent moon in the sky to set your intentions around this. So it's a good time to make decisions about how you want to spend your money, for example. Ask yourself, is this, you know, these items that I'm going to, I'm thinking about buying, is it, are they really worth it? Am I going to get any value out of this in my life? Um, think about what you can do for yourself and others in a way to get in touch with life's simple pleasures in a whole new way, whether that's stopping and smelling the roses or cooking together as a family or, you know, just going out with friends and, and going for a hike in nature, whatever it is, you know, think about things like that too. It's not all about money. It's not all about going out in the town. So um, yeah, that's what this new moon wants us to, to focus on, how we can bring more beauty um, values and, and just, you know, fun, fun love into our lives um, in a new way. So this is Eagle Condor Astrology. If you want to stay on top of the daily astro vibes, just keep following the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you for your likes, comments, shares, follows. Have a great day. I'll catch you next time.